Hey guys, welcome to Nerd Hockey for Nerds by Nerds. I'm Ted, hanging out with these guys. I'm Dave. Ryan. And uh, today, today we're going to talk about that thing that you guys have all questioned about. Why aren't we talking about it? And that's Ravenloft. Consumed by the mist. Mm. But before we get consumed by the mist, I'll t- tell you about the Nerd newsletter. You can sign up in the, uh, in the description below, or the, what is that called? Below? Description. Description below. Uh, you can get tips, learn how to game with Nerd Archie, et cetera, et cetera. Back on to talking about Ravenloft. All right. So, so like, we, we finally decided to do this. You know, we, we got the, the book that's coming out. They released them a, a free module. There. Which is like a prequel. Well, first, first of all, the the book came out Friday, right? We're it's it's Saturday, yeah, it's Saturday. Um, the book was released Friday to like the the Wizard of the Coast um, official uh, stores, yeah. official local stores, yeah. Uh, and actually, like one of the things that I had brought up to uh, to Ryan the other day was the store that I would actually go to buy this book from. Mm-hmm. Isn't here anymore. Yeah, it, just, clo- just, it just, just closed up like yeah. two weeks ago, mm. February fifteenth. Yeah. So, so all of us have the book on pre-order, but we—it's yeah. not in our grubby little hand. Well, and the uh, you know the other thing too, the truth of the matter is, I can buy it two weeks early for fifty bucks mm. plus tax. Yeah. Yeah, forty nine ninety nine plus tax, or I can just wait for Amazon to ship it to me two weeks later for like half the price. Right. Yeah. But you don't have it first. Yeah. I don't have it first. Yeah. Yeah, like, I, I have to check. I don't even know how much I'm paying for it now, but I know I'm going to save no less than, like, 15 20. bucks. That's at least 20. Oh, is it 20 now? Well, I mean, I, I thought mine was, like, 20, 20 and then some other integer, um, you know, when I pre-ordered Because I pre-ordered right away, and it still said forty nine ninety nine, And okay. I'm like, wow. there's no way Amazon charges that. <laughs> yeah. Then it went down to, like, 38 then, like, 35 okay. and then I, I stopped paying I might, attention. I, I might be wrong, but, you know, we'll, we'll find out when we, you know, when we It'll finally... be like Christmas. How much did we save? <laughs> yeah. So you've got the, 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 the book. You've got the module. You've got the, the, the two-page character options. And there's a whole thing about the release on the DMs Guild. Yeah, it that came can, out Friday. That you blew can now, me away. You can now use Ravenloft in the DMs Guild, which is totally awesome, and it's it's setting the precedent that you now as they put more more worlds out, that that information is going to be added to the guild, and that's that's super. That's awesome. I'm really excited about that. Yeah. So not necessarily that we'll be putting stuff in there, but you it's know, cool that but, the option is on. But the table. Oh, maybe we'll do like some gothic horror stuff that would maybe fit very nicely into the Ravenloft universe, perhaps on our own website. So, like, uh, like my speculation was after they launched the DMs, like I was blown away by the the OGL. Mm. being released. I didn't think they were going to do it after what happened with 4th and Pathfinder. They did it. Then they... You mean 3rd and Pathfinder? And, yeah. yeah, yeah. Well, yeah. Because no, then, no, no, then 4th was a it was a departure from the... No, OGL. no. 4th is why they did Pathfinder. That's where the split happened. Right, yeah. yeah. Because everyone else would still be playing 3rd edition otherwise. Mm. But, no, so... So the so the OGL happened. Didn't think we'd see that again, and then they stumped me again by you know opening up their actual IP of Forgotten mm. Realms, their baby, um, to all of us to play in and sell stuff there. Very cool. So I was like, all right. So the model they're going to go with is they're going to release like three products, and then they're going to open up the IP to us to play with after they've kind of like you know made their big score. Yeah. You know, on the physical books and stuff, and yeah, well, I was wrong again. <laughs> and they're like, no, nope, no, nope. you know, the book, you know, m- m- the book is you know barely off the presses, and yeah, you can just write your own stuff for Ravenloft now. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I mean, I could what I can imagine them doing is talent farming that they'll they'll like basically do like a best of greatest hits of the stuff that get, ends up in the DMs Guild. And then repackage that as official Watts content. They've, they've already said they'll do. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, but so that's yeah. that. You know, that seems like maybe the, you know might be the thing to happen sooner than later. Yeah, and and since they're already farming out to uh, third party companies, they're like, well, let's just expand the talent search. Maybe we'll find our next Keith Baker. Or, yeah. You know, from from Eberron. So now the speculation is, what are they going to do next? Is yeah. that going to be Eberron? Yeah. So so that's really interesting. You know, for with Ravenloft news and the release of, of Ravenloft, but then we also have the mo- they they did a, a prequel module not that long ago, mm-hmm. uh, which, which is uh, Death House. Yeah, Death, Death House. House, which is like it's pretty beefy. I mean, this you know this is like a couple of sessions worth of material. Well, it, it says that it's it. you know it's material to run characters from first to third level. Yeah. So that, that's getting pretty ready. Nice. For, yeah, getting ready for the Strahd. 
which is uh, really cool. Um, and then they also did a really cool um, background, new background. And it is fantastic. It's called the Haunted One. Um, you know, it's basically like you're, something has happened to your character that you're you know, being being haunted by something, you have terrible nightmares, there's something about your 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 character that you've been affected by something that can't be, you know, stopped by sword or spell. You can't just be like, I will fight it until it's gone. It's it's not going to go away. Yeah, there's no mena- mechanical solution to this thing. Right. Yeah. Which is which is awesome that it spells it right there. Um you know, Dave and I were looking at it and Dave's like, well it does give you a little you know, one less Proficiency option. If you look at all of the things in the player's handbook, you you usually get two skills, and you know a combination of you know tool two others with tool languages. proficiencies, you know languages, whatever else. This just gives you two skills and then a uncommon language. Well, I also found the um or exotic language. I also says. found the actual cla- the actual background feature a little odd as well. Mm. Yeah. But basically, uh, commoners little, treat you well yeah. Yeah. because they're scared of you, yeah. essentially. But they'll also stick up for you and stand beside you if you find yourself in trouble. Mm-hmm. And that's the part that I found odd, is it because it actually uh, takes it's into kind account. of contradictory to itself in a way. Like, yeah. yeah, yeah, contradictory to itself and to how all the other pr- uh, previous. Because no, um, usually, are. yeah, usually no one will put themselves in harm's way. Like there is never any. Mechanical. Tangible mechanical benefit usually. To yeah, and this maybe one almost pr- produces allies. I wonder if maybe that's why they got one less uh, that's skill what I was or feature, you know, or skill or um, language. You don't get proficiencies, but you get an army of commoners. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that, that um, you know, shield wall, human shield wall. <laughs> but you know, you, they do give you the new item of the monster hunters pack, as well as an entire gothic trinkets list. So I mean, that that's something that that's pretty interesting in and of itself. Um, you know why you would want to be carrying around the switch that you were punished with as a child. I, I don't know, but that's one of the options. Yeah, <laughs> there you go. I mean, yeah, maybe you, the voices make you do yeah, it. Yeah, yeah. So you know the cool thing about Haunted One is it kind of can give you a little bit of that flair of the warlock without actually being the warlock. Mm-hmm. So it's like it kind of you know it gives you that the flavor of a class and not actually taking any levels. Well, I mean that's that's the cool thing about most of the backgrounds. Backgrounds is they the, to some extent they do that entertainer yeah. soldier criminal criminal. Yeah, you could be the not so roguey rogue like yeah. Yeah, so, so th- that's definitely the benefit. Yeah, it's only a couple pages, but you know it's a couple pages that are interesting, nice, and free. It's it's great all the free content we're getting with this edition and the support. Absolutely. And there's lots of really fun trinkets on the trinket table that you can use, you know, as like random treasure your party finds, or like you know maybe there's some story elements that are tied into them. So that's and cool. um so and then we have the prequel adventure. Right. So. I did not actually read through the whole thing. Um, I've been freaking dying. I'm, th- Dave is not actually here. It's Dave Zombie here that's here today. <laughs> yeah. I've been dying from some draconian flu. I've, I've just been going on a you know limited limited sleep, disrupted sleep. So I I myself I skimmed through it. Uh, there's definitely some inter- interesting encounters that are in there. Um, there's some co- some cool locations to, to play with, but I did not have a chance to to sit and read it. So Ryan, on to you. Yeah. So the only person that did the homework here, uh, fuckers. Mm-hmm. Uh, so it was. It's a pretty good adventure. Um, I like that they do sort of a non-standard uh, leveling mechanic where they're just like, look, there's kind of milestones in the story mm-hmm. of this thing. Let's just have people level then. So that that's a pretty early thing. Um, you know, the NPC like. Uh, I don't know if I should be spoiling this or not. Like, there's, there's these, like, NPC ghost children that are pretty cool. Um, it's funny. So you go... You go for... Well, okay. So you, you find, like, a note from, like, Lord Shroud, and it's, like, a... Uh, it's a clue hammer. Like, it hits you yeah. so hard. And I was just like, yeah, they could have probably did that a little more subtle, a little more interesting. They um, also have um, print... I don't know if it's for the prequel or for actual the... The Straw Adventure, but on the lot site, there's print out, um, there's handouts that you can print, mm. and there's also like a huge art collection and stuff that you can also purchase. And there's tons of support on Fantasy Grounds for this module, for not this module, but for the the Ravenloft module. Nice, cool, very neat. So yeah, so th- yeah, this is you know, there's some fun and interesting stuff here happening for sure. Um, 
a lot of this adventure is contingent off of like finding secret doors. Like, there's a lot of stuff that's important that's behind secret doors that like might be like clues or trinkets or whatever. So make sure you got a good perception check. Well, I mean, so the problem is if you're a thir- first level party and you didn't bring your rogue, you might have problems finding some of this stuff. So I thought that was a little. There is a there's a thing a little later on that kind of mitigates some of that. But mm-hmm. I'm just saying that that could be a problem with some parties actually being. Frustrated to find I, I feel like any adventure that hinges on a, a skill check is a flawed adventure, in yeah. my opinion. Well, you can send that to uh, Chris Perkins, who wrote this. I believe <laughs> it was. Yeah, I think. Yeah, I'm pretty sure. What's it was. that fucker know yeah, about D and D anyway? Right, right, right. He only runs celebrity <laughs> games for like Scott Kurtz and Will Wheaton and stuff. <laughs> um, so yeah, like I, I did find that like maybe that could be the problem. There are some things that that like rein that in, and um, like there's a point at which there's a thing you find that will give you advantage on those search checks. Uh-huh. So like you can go back and and find those things. Um, is it a magnifying glass? It's a my. It's actually a, a dollhouse replica of the house that with secret doors that you can kind of examine and look at. Well, so, that's really cool. No spoilers there. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. So I mean, you know, that yeah, I guess we should the spoiler alerted the whole thing. Um, what else? So it actually seems pretty lethal for the level of the party. Yeah. Like, um, in the early goings, there isn't too much that's dangerous about it. But then, like, you actually start getting into the dangerous parts, and I feel like this this could drop a player or two. Like, compl- my kind completely. Of well, I mean, that's, that's yeah. what you know Ravenloft is is designed for. I mean, you know. it's it's usually supposed to take out. Not your physical body, but your soul. Uh, you know, like that. It should be your sanity that's in danger, not your physical self as much. Because uh, the dark powers don't get to screw with you if they just outright kill you. Now, Dark Sun, Dark Sun wants to kill you. That's, this that's wants not, to drive you insane. That's not true. They can always bring you back and you know, torment you. That's true. It's been known to happen. Yeah. A yeah. bunch of times. Yeah. So, I mean, all in all, like, I, I might do, I if I were running this, I might do some writing tweaks and maybe scale back the lethality just a hair, depending on the makeup of the party. <coughs> <coughs> Pardon me, yeah. guys, Cole. Yeah. Well, fuck you. Um, <laughs> so, I hope, I hope the Draconian Plague takes you. <laughs> <laughs> it probably will, but I'll rise as a revenant. With scales. With scales. <laughs> yeah. Um, so yeah, I mean that's pretty much the short and long. Is like it, it's it's good. It's got its it's got its its warts though. So, so yeah, I, I had read like the just the the intro into it, and it, you know it's the classic. You know, hey, you should have the the mists of Ravenloft take the party, and of course you should. It's Ravenloft. Yeah. Heard them into oh. something. Yeah. You know, it, it's cool that they've kind of folded you know Ravenloft into the Shadowfell, which I I, I like that idea. It fits nicely. You know, oh no! I'm excited to see you know see the hardback, right? Uh, Ravenloft book. You know, it's that. it's only that. it's a shorter adventure than the other ones. Mm-hmm. So I'm hoping that means that we get a lot more like crunch more. and, and right. Ravenloft in there, right? Which would be really cool. And like I said, there's a ton of support for Ravenloft online already. Um, the, you know, Wizard, Wizards of the Coast is really just doing a good job with this stuff with Fifth Edition, and I want to just say they they seem to keep gaining momentum and mm-hmm. not losing it right. and getting better, and they seem to be really trying to uh, listen to the fan base and produce you know quality products that that are going to help push the hobby forward. Right, right, and and the, they're meeting the demand of the fan base. Yeah, like yeah, that's, and that's important. So I mean, yeah, that, I think that's that's pretty much it for Ravenloft. If we want to, uh, yeah, until and obviously, lay down guys, the sarcophagus, you know? yeah, obviously, when we actually get the hardback books, we're going to do a flip through. We're going to talk about that stuff and in, in a lot more detail. We're you know we're really excited about that. And hey, you know, we might actually on our Patreon make a goal where we. Um, set the goal where we're, you know whenever Watts puts something out we'll buy it first from the stores for the full price and, and then we'll be able to review it as soon as possible Quicker, if, yeah. if we can't if we can't get them to actually send us the books in advance so we can review it for you guys and show right. you yeah. but you know it's, 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 a, it's an idea but otherwise for us all to pay you know full price all the time it, it's, it's a bit much. It's not, not in our current budgets. Yeah, no that'd be a little crazy alright so uh, yeah just uh, like comment subscribe share you can uh, head over to Facebook and check out funny memes. You can tweet at us on your own Twitter. So until next time, stay, stay nerdy. nerdy.